Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. And today we'll be discussing the rumored WrestleMania card, which uh, is kind of taking shape already. There's some interesting matches on here. Um, let's go out of our way and kind of go blow by blow here. You know, we already kind of know what we're getting. The Fiend versus Roman Reigns, Lesnar, McIntyre, Rhea Ripley, and Charlotte has already been announced. We'll know about the, the two battle royals, the Andre and the women's battle royal. Um, then we got Otis versus Ziggler. We got a fatal four-way SmackDown tag title match on there. And two oddball tag teams, I guess. So or one oddball, which features Baron Corbin and Robert Roode. So that might be interesting to see them kind of get away as Corbin as a top heel. Um, which also features New Day, Miz and Morrison, and the revival. That's kind of iffy if the Revival stick around and, you know, they're apparently leaving. You know, they've asked for their release several times. Um, let's go back a step here because Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte. I don't think Charlotte is going to be the savior of NXT and draw these huge numbers to NXT. She's been there a couple of times already. And we've seen no real increase in viewership. I'm not a big fan of Rhea Ripley so far. I, I'll tell you what. Um, she might be decent in the ring. I, I just don't feel like putting the NXT women's title is any benefit to WrestleMania. And there's a lot of matches on this show. There's probably 7 to 10 matches on this WrestleMania card. Um... This is probably going to be one of those five to six hour WrestleManias. Um, I'd rather see the, you know, women's title on the TakeOver show. Um, I, I don't know. Charlotte and Rhea Ripley, will it work? Probably. Um, I, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying Rhea Ripley as this top kind of champion right now. Maybe that's their hope. I mean, it's Triple H's brand. Maybe Vince McMahon wants the NXT Women's title on WrestleMania for some reason. Who knows? Um, Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins is taking shape. John Cena is rumored to face Elias at WrestleMania. John Cena has had uh, two encounters already with Elias. His first encounter was at WrestleMania 34 prior to the Undertaker match, which lasted about three minutes. And then last year, the Doctor of Thugonomics interrupted Elias. So is this the big blow-off match, which will last about six minutes? Um, I don't know. I don't think they're doing anything with Elias right now. They haven't done nothing with him really in months. He's been a part of SmackDown. I, he hasn't really done much at all. They should have been building up Elias, you know, have him call out Cena, have him call out people. And I, I know they've done the, you know, the phony open challenges before. It, it hasn't really caught on with anyone else like it did with John Cena. But I, I, I feel like they're not really doing anything with Elias to, you know, give him this big John Cena match. You know, John Cena returning is a big deal. He hasn't had a match since, uh, I don't even remember when. Might have been one of those Super Showdown pay-per-views where he he wrestled Triple H on one of them, I believe. Um, and, and the other uh, time, I believe he wrestled a mixed tag with Lashley against uh, Corbin and Ziggler or something like that. Or it might have been Elias and Ziggler or something like that. But a, a, a John Cena return match and their their big plan is Elias, who they haven't done anything with in months, is kind of a joke. 
Next up here, we got AJ Styles and The Undertaker. This is a match I'm actually looking forward to. You know, unlike Elias, AJ Styles is someone who they've kept strong throughout his WWE run, which has been about four years now, over four years. He's been WWE champion a few times. He's been US, I believe. Uh, I don't think he's been tag champ. And uh, I don't think he's been IC champ. But AJ Styles is a guy who's, you know, consistently put on match. Good quality matches time and time again. Whether it was his reign as WWE champion. His matches with John Cena. His feuds. Various feuds, you know. He's done great stuff with Nakamura. Chris Jericho. Several guys. And wherever he's positioned on the card, AJ Styles is a guy where you really want to see his match. And putting him with The Undertaker, again, that's a big deal. And I kind of came up with the whole Phenom versus Phenomenal thing. I think that's a good ring to it. The Phenomenal one versus the Phenom. And if this is going to be Undertaker's kind of last string of matches, we don't really know when he's going to hang him up. I think uh, AJ Styles is the right opponent for The Undertaker. Um, you know, they can play into that, you know. I'm the man running the show now. I'm the phenomenal one. You're a washed up phenom. You know, they, they got to get this thing kind of rolling now. Um, Super Showdown, or I guess that's what it's called in the Saudi Arabia, is this Thursday. I think the following Sunday is Elimination Chamber. I'm guessing after that is going to be when The Undertaker will make his return. And they could kind of build towards that. The surprising thing here is no Triple H match on, on this WrestleMania rumored card. Uh, I'm not really surprised by that, but... Uh, you know, Triple H is one of my all-time favorites, and if he quietly retires, I'm okay with that. We have had, you know, a lot of Triple H matches over the last few years, and uh, if he doesn't formally retire, I'm fine with that. If he does, it'll be a big deal when he does decide to retire. You know, for years and years and years, people will complain about Triple H's position Getting the big old WrestleMania entrances in the 20 to 30 minute matches. Um, you know, I like Triple H. I've always liked him. And if he's on the show, great. If he's not, hopefully the show's good without him. And, you know, the past few WrestleManias have not been good. And Triple H has been on them. So I, I don't think Triple H really hurts or helps either way. You know, it's great to see Triple H every now and again. If he's not on Mania, that's fine. Um, yeah, other than that, I think that's about it. You know, the Raw tag titles are in shambles. Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy are champions. So I could care less about the tag title matches. At this point, it's better to just unify the championships. There's too many titles in WWE. And this is a problem that's gone on for years. You know, we don't need two sets of tag titles. We don't need two women's titles. I think they got to sort things out with this. And there's Bailey versus Naomi. Not really into that yet. I see a lot of people excited over Naomi returning, so thumbs up to that. Edge versus Randy Orton. That's something I can get into. Edge returned at the Rumble. I'm not sure uh, when his next few dates are. But uh, I'm sure he'll be involved in some way. Edge and Randy Orton, that's a feud that goes back till 2004, at least. Because, uh, yeah, when Edge returned, he beat Randy Orton for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, vengeance of 04. So, it's a long time in the making. They've been tag team champions. They've feuded over WWE World Heavyweight Championships before, so... Edge and Orton. Edge is going to be awesome at WrestleMania. He'll probably get the pop of the night. And, uh, yeah, The Fiend versus Roman Reigns. That's a 
That's been rumored for a long time now. So let me know your thoughts on this one, guys. Also, Becky Lynch, Shayna Baszler. Shayna is probably the odds-on favorite to win the Chamber match. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy Shayna, ba Shayna Baszler got the call-up. Because, let's face it, they're lacking major women on the shows. Lacey Evans isn't doing it. Natalia is not doing it. They got a good thing going with the Kabuki Warriors, who's rumored to be against Beth Phoenix and Natalia. So maybe Beth Phoenix will win a championship at WrestleMania. Um, yeah, that's about it. I, I, I'm not buying the whole Naomi return. I'm not big on Naomi. I don't know what it is, but for me, she just... I don't think she's the one. You know, similar to Rhea Ripley, I, I don't know. The fans like her, but she ain't for me. And Bailey is rumored to be with Sasha Banks. This is all rumored, guys. Anything could change. I'm sure we'll go... The card will look similar to what this is. And these things have gone around before. So this may not be 100% official. Let me know your thoughts on some of these things. We'll talk to you later. Peace.